Hey, what's up, everybody? Really excited today because I got the Honor 6X smartphone up for an unboxing and review. Now, as far as I know, this is like the best budget smartphone. This retails for only $250, and it's got a lot of really, really good features and some really impressive specs. Um, it has four gigs of RAM. It's got a 5.5 inch display. It's got a giant battery, like 3,400 milliamps or something. They said it can go for two days with normal use, a day and a half with heavy use. So that is just freaking crazy. It's got two cameras on the back, a fingerprint sensor. It's got a nice metal construction. So I'm actually really excited to check this out. I'm gonna be giving this to my brother when it's done because he totally destroyed his phone. Uh, I'll show a picture of that right now. Yeah, I don't know what he was doing. But yeah, so anyways, I'm very excited to check this out. This was sent to me courtesy of GearBest. There'll be a link in the description with a coupon code where you guys can get it even cheaper. So thank you so much to GearBest for sending me this. And yeah, let's unbox it. Let's take a look at it. Let's play with it. Let's see what happens. All right, guys. So here is the box. It's got a you know, pretty simple box. I like how it's printed in soy ink. Um, all the hippies out there, you guys will be happy with that. Recyclable, printed in soy ink. Very cool, thinking about the environment. Um, yeah. But anyways, yeah, my, uh, mine came already cut. I haven't opened this. This is the first time opening this. Sometimes when GearBest sends me stuff, they want to make sure everything's good, so they open it up and take a look at it. You know, before they send it across the world, which is good. Okay, so here's the phone itself. So I guess, I guess let's just start with that. I mean, that's the main point. Ooh, and it's actually really nice. Look, can you see the camera? Can you see me? Cool, anyways, okay, so here's the phone. Uh, looks like there's a camera there. Or ear speaker. On the back, look, it's cool. It's got all the directions and everything. So these are the volume buttons. As it says right there, which is really cool. Power button. A nano SIM, micro SD. Um, our two cameras, like I said, that's your fingerprint sensor. So really cool. I love the fingerprint sensor right there. It's a very natural feel. You know, you just, it's very easy to find it. Also, it's, you know, it's recessed in there. So your finger fits in there real nice, actually. Um, it gives you procedure for putting the SIM card in if you don't know. Now, this is cool because you can put in either two SIM cards. So, like, say you go out of the country or something, you won't get hit with all the roaming charges and everything you've put in, like, a local SIM you get when you're there and then you just throw it away when you leave or whatever. Or you can have an SD card. It's so like a micro SD. So, you could expand it up to, like, 250, um, you know, extra gigs of internal storage, which is really awesome. Like, you, a lot of smartphones, you can't even, you can't even add SIM cards, which makes no sense to me. Like, every... Every phone in the world should have that. I don't know why any phone would not have that. Also, it's got a microphone jack, so it's already better than an iPhone. 250 bucks, it looks like. Uh, is that a microphone? Is that where it picks up the microphone? That'd be weird, but maybe. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, and then it's got some tips. This phone supports only nano SIM, micro SD. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. Okay, whatever. It's primary 4G, yada, yada, yada. Coolest thing about this, though, is this phone works, like, in the USA. Uh, a lot of smartphones you buy online, like, you can get, there's a lot of smartphones on GearBest and stuff, but not all of them are going to work in the USA. And this one, I know for sure it works on all AT&T and T-Mobile networks. And then I, I think it probably works for Verizon and Sprint, too. I'm just not 100% positive. There's a list. I'll put a list in the description of all the networks it works on. So, like, you can look up what your network number is and you'll know if it'll work with yours or not but I, I'm almost positive it works with all AT&T and T-Mobile and I have AT&T my brother has AT&T so this will be perfect for us so a lot yeah a lot of smartphones you buy will only work in Europe and stuff you buy them overseas like a lot of these budget ones and check this out what am I supposed to do with that no, I'm just kidding I can just plug that into anything but yeah comes with a European jack so you're gonna want to make sure you have a regular power block you know, plug that into. But nowadays, everybody, I mean, who doesn't have something they can plug that into? So, or you got to get a, you can buy a converter piece for a couple dollars, you know, but no big deal. Uh, anything else in this box? Oh, let's see. No, I think that's it. Just, there you go. Now, and this is a SIM removal tool, tool. So to put our SIM card in there and everything. So, yeah, user guide and warranty, though. It does come with a warranty, so pretty cool. So just because you're buying, you know, a foreign product, you know, if you well, if you're somebody watching this in the USA, you don't, you know, you'll still get a warranty and everything, just like as if you bought anything in here. And yeah, when I first was picking out this phone, like I, I was picking out a phone to review, and this one struck me in particular because it, it had so many good reviews and everything. So since the power button, this one, okay, so let's see if it's got any juice right off the bat. If we can power it up, oh yeah, look at that. 
honor powered by android now i think they have their own like stock launcher on here but since it's an android you can put nova launcher or, or whatever you like i'll be putting nova launcher on here it's just got a quite nice animation this screen too uh looks nice is you know i have a hold on i got a galaxy s8 is my daily driver phone so i kind of compare it to you know, it's not as big, but I mean, this is an S8 Plus. So, I mean, it's still a pretty darn big phone. Quite nice. Um, seems to be loading. Uh, first time you turn on smartphone a lot of times. You gotta wait for all this junk. Oh, there we go. Okay, EMUI, that is that is the company that runs their launcher. Okay, so I'm gonna have to do all this stuff. Okay, English, US. So look, there's all the, you know, it's got all these languages and everything you can pick from so looks like it's looks like it's got pretty much everything covered so whatever your language is looks like this will work for you I'm gonna make sure I pick English before I accidentally pick something else and don't know how to get back English US cool next United States yes okay I gotta add my network so, uh, I actually don't know the password off the top of my head. So let me put this in and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I got it all set up to my network and then I put my Google account in here. Um, you know, I didn't want you guys to know my password and stuff so I did that off camera, obviously. But um, now I'm gonna install YouTube, which I feel like is the most important app to have on your phone. And that's how probably, uh, you know, that's how you guys are watching this. So this is uh, something I definitely need. Okay, and then let's, uh, we gotta put some games on here, you know, uh, something, I don't know, what's a game that we should play? Let's just see what's the most popular games. Uh, got a temple run, gotta, gotta have temple run, right? Okay, because I'm gonna, one of the things I want to do is I want to test the battery on this so I'm gonna like torture the battery like crazy like it's it's only got one bar right now because it came shipped from halfway across the world it actually got here in only 10 days from China with just regular regular shipping so that's really cool so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna charge it up and then we're gonna give it a full test and everything but uh this game's fun too right hill climb I don't know we'll install it why not uh, I need some type of racing game Traffic Rider. <laughs> I don't know what this is. We'll install that too. Okay, cool. So it's just handling and installing stuff, no problem. It's getting a good connection there. I don't have an SD card in it yet. I'm going to pop the SD card out of my Galaxy. Put that in here. Try calling my brother or something. See see how that goes. I guess we need Pac-Man too. Let's put Pac-Man on here. Okay. Did YouTube install? Yeah. Yes. Okay, let's try just the phone overall. It feels really nice. Here's our, our navigation buttons. We got our back button, our home button, and then our menu button. So I'll hit the home button. You know, once again, everything's very snappy. What the? Uh, okay, I got to update my Google Play services. Jeez Louise. Okay, there's lots of updating going on. So I guess while we're doing that, let's pop open the SD card slot so where is it on this thing it is right here okay so we got our SD right there so I'm gonna shove this thing in there and that'll act, get us access to our SD card so let me get the one out of my Samsung Galaxy and we'll see how this works just for uh, you know calling and everything but you know next to my Samsung it's you know it looks nice Okay, where did I just put that thing? Oh, here it is. Okay. So this should work for my phone, too. Where's mine? I've never taken mine out, actually. What the heck is it on a Galaxy? Oh, it's on the top. That's weird. I actually prefer the... the Honor 6X, how it was just on the bottom there. I mean, on the side there. What am I talking about? On the bottom. So just like how a Galaxy has it, where you can put two in there, you know, you can do it same thing on here, which is super, super cool. I must say. Okay, so slim slot one. 
I believe that's what I want. And yeah, it fits my US SIM card, no problem. Darn it, just fell out. But yeah, so cool. Okay. Okay. Oh, look at that. It's a very beautiful, beautiful background there. Really cool. It's got quick access, one from the, the off screen. It's got quick access to the camera, so you can hold down the camera, just like on a Samsung. Um, it gives you, you know, prompts you on th ways to, you know, use your camera. So there's all different camera modes you can get from swiping. So we'll do that. Swipe left to bring up the settings, okay. Okay, so when I'm in my camera here, I'm able to look at, yeah, that's fine. Okay, sorry, my table's a mess too. And one, I heard one really cool thing this can do. Jeez Louise. I gotta, you know, setting up stuff is such a pain. Oh my god, this camera looks really good. Hold on, let's get this next to my Galaxy. Now mind you, I have a cracked screen, well, my screen's not cracked, my screen protector's cracked on my Samsung. But, other than that, okay, whatever. Okay, like. They both look good. Let's take a picture of this oil. We got here some uh, cooking oil. Okay, let's take the same picture basically. Uh, what are we doing? It's a little lit. There we go. I'm trying to get the same angle. Oh, good enough. Okay, so. You know what? I mean. I kind of like the picture a little, it's a little bit, the contrast is a little better actually on this one. This one's got more brightness stuff, but if you look at like the box, look at how more detail it is on this one actually than on my Samsung. Now one really cool thing, this has a selective focus, so you can take a picture of something and you can like pick what you want to focus on. I gotta figure out how to do that. Um, but I know it's one of the, one of the things you can do. Advanced edit, I oh, don't know, that's not it. But I know you can like do a selective focus. So when I figure that out, I'll come back and I'll show you guys how to do that. Oh, here we go. Here we got more stuff. Panorama, slow mode, watermark. There's lots of camera modes. G good food. So it's like got a mode for taking pictures of your food. That is freaking awesome. What's a pro? What's pro photo? I don't even know. Whoa. Okay, that's what pro photo is. You got like. You can adjust everything like it was a professional camera, like every little detail. So the camera I know shoots in 1080, 30 frames per second, which is like, you know, more than good enough for most people. And, uh, okay, let's put on like one of my YouTube videos so I don't get in trouble, <laughs> you know? And right, let's do this. Let's just see how it handles. Uh, streaming. It is also downloading like a bunch of stuff, so it might go slower. But check, this is pretty cool. Actually, let's go. All right, what's up? You uh, let's do this one. This was pretty cool. This was like the first time I ever tried to make fire with my yo yo. It was super, super awesome. Check this out. Let's just go to the funny part. Work gets awesome. So it looks good to me. I mean, I don't know how the camera is picking it up, you know, but looking just. Your real life, like I can see really good detail and everything, like the background. <laughs> it's a really, really old video. I just thought it'd be funny, but yeah, just can you start a fire with you? Oh, check this out. This was this is even cooler. I made this like a little bit ago, but just right, what is this to fit this? Okay, so, oh, that's just that. I oh, check this out. This is pretty cool. So why doing YouTube videos? Seems like uh, handles it no problem. It's got all your modes like to play it on your TV and everything like you would normally have. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's a YouTube app works just like it would on my Galaxy. So if I can go from using the Samsung Galaxy and then go to this thing and it's like just as cool, like I like, I mean, you know, I'm not noticing like a major difference. Like, it's not like I can't, this thing feels like a piece of crap compared to that. You know, it feels fine. And I like how the camera's got all these different modes and stuff. 
beauty mode? What the fudge is beauty mode? Beauty level 10. <laughs> I don't even know what any of this means. I'm gonna have to go through and figure out what all this means, but it's got like a lot of really, really cool. Actually, what is this at the top? What is that, like your flash or something? Oh, here we go, filters, some built-in filters. They're really easy to just access right at the top. That's our flash, what's this? This is, oh, it's a flip it, obviously. So here's us, uh, perfect selfie. He's got a perfect selfie mode, standard beauty. <laughs> like how instead of just normal, they call it standard beauty. Uh, well, I guess perfect selfie we need. Okay, me, me and you camera, smile. Cool. Please take a side photo? What? You want me to take a side? Okay. Sorry, this is off camera, but I took a side photo too. Okay, take a photo of yourself looking down. Okay, what? This is weird. Okay. I don't know what any of this means. Oh, enlarge, I can look, I can do all this. I can like brighten my eyes. I can thin my face. I can whiten stuff. What? This is so weird. Look at this. This is pretty cool. I can make my eyes bigger. <laughs> oh my God, look at them. <laughs> look at that, it looked like freaking alien on mushrooms. Okay, they go really small. <laughs> That's hilarious. I don't even know what number it was before. Thinner face. Okay, they're gonna make us look like I just cut weight. Oh my god, look at my jawline. It looked like gla a glass jaw, a big wide jaw. I think it was already on zero. I don't know. So that is super, <laughs> super cool you can do this. Okay, whatever. Let's just keep that. So that was a really cool feature. I didn't know it. So this camera has got a lot of really cool stuff. Oh, here we go. Here's even more stuff. So here I can change my resolutions. Here's all my different camera resolutions. Perfect selfie, mirror reflection, mute, timer, control, audio capture, blah, 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 blah. Okay, image adjustment, what's this? Okay, there's all this stuff. Uh, really cool. Um, yeah, I'm actually quite impressed with all the camera, just the camera app on this thing alone, the camera and the app with it. Um, I think the camera looks really good. Uh, here's our normal settings, see how it looks. Um, fingerprint ID, I did not set that up yet, but... Um, Check photo video. Oh, you can. Okay, cool, cool. Okay, so fingerprint management. Let's get the fingerprint set up. To keep your. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna do this off camera because my pin. From my Google account. Okay, we back. Okay. Fingerprint required. Okay, so I'm gonna put it on the fingerprint sensor. Oh, you got, you got, I gotta like click it. Every time I click it, it vibrates. Okay, cool. And you can put multiple ones on there. So like, if you want to, you can put your wife's on there. So you can be like, hey, could you go through my phone whenever you want? I don't care. You can give her yours, whatever, or whatever. <laughs> or you can put it on your other hand. So like, you, you want to open the phone with your left hand, you put that your other fingerprint on there. You just click new fingerprint. It's a really cool fingerprint sensor. You know, works cool. Let's try it out. Let's turn off the screen. Turn back on screen. I love how it's got all these cool things. Okay, let's see. Fingerprint. Oh, just that was fast too. Look how fast that is. Bada bing. We'll check it out. One, two. Damn, that's faster than my Samsung. Okay, check it out. Samsung. Uh, about the same. I don't know. Let's race. Okay, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna. Oh, I can't because they're both. The Samsung's only registered to my right finger. <laughs> but I mean, let's try that again. I'll see that time I missed it. A lot of times on the Samsung too, you accidentally get it hit that. I like how this is like you're not gonna miss it because you can feel it. You just you 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 just feel it, you know. Really, really cool. So again, boom! <laughs> Freaking awesome. This is actually a really nice phone. So okay, so next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna call my brother. So I'm gonna cut the camera while I put his phone number in. We're gonna call him, and uh, we'll see if he can hear me. If I can hear him, I'll put it on speaker. Uh, I am also only getting two bars because I'm in my basement and I never get service here. But I mean, just like, that's not that this phone sucks. That's where my location sucks. Like look on my Samsung on the top too. I'm only getting two bars. So it's getting just as good slash just as bad reception as my Samsung. But uh, I should still be able to call my brother. So let's try, let's try calling this dude. All right guys, we're on the phone with my brother. Hey, what's up? I'm wearing stocks with Uncle Kurt. You're doing, you're learning how to do the stock market with Uncle Kurt? Oh, well, I'm on the phone with you on the new phone, and I'm filming the review. Can you can you hear me? Does the quality sound good? Yeah, quality's great. You're on speakerphone. Talk louder. See if... 
Just say uh, something. Yes, I can hear fine. Uh, see, I'm just trying to show that, I mean, I can hear you good, too. So, yeah, I can hear you good. You can hear me good. Yeah. Oh, cool. Phone's pretty cool. Good on both ends. Huh? Good on both ends. Yeah, well, it seems good on both ends. Okay, cool, cool. Just wanted to check out the phone quality. Don't forget, don't forget to take, the, take a picture of top of the camera. I took, I, I'm going to show them how the camera works. Don't you worry. Okay, cool, cool. Thumbs up. Okay, thumbs up. Call quality's good. All right. See you later. Later. Okay, guys, so the first phone call was a success, even on the speakerphone. The speaker was actually pretty good. There's only one. Well, actually, no, it is two speakers. For some reason, I thought it was only going to be one speaker down here, like, because my Samsung's only one. So it's only coming from one direction. Like, the Samsung is only down here, but there's more than one. So if you're playing a game or something and you accidentally cover it up, it's no big deal. Where, like, on the Samsung, a lot of times I'll be playing a game or something and I'll accidentally cover it up. And then, you know, I'll be screwed. So, really cool. Uh, everything so far seems to be working. So, yeah, cool. Oh, Pac-Man. It seems to be working fine. <laughs> uh, good frame rate. Uh, awesome game. The controls, you know, work good. It, the, this is a game that you have to... The screen has to be working, like, as far as sensitivity, the company lag with the screen. Otherwise, it'll mess... It'll mess it up. Oh, I'm gonna get killed. Come on, come on. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, it's responding perfectly. Whoa, man, the second I hit... I hit the direction. Pac-Man's moving. So, the screen sensitivity is good. Good enough to game with, that's for sure. I mean... This isn't the best test in the world, but... I mean, it's definitely responding, like, with no lag. The second I'm turning the corner, it's turning the corner. I hear is Temple Run. Temple Run is also running great. This is another game that if you're, like, if you don't have a good sensor, if your phone screen isn't responding good, if there's any lag, it won't work at all. Also, too, look, it's just a game that involves you tilting the screen, too. That is also working perfectly. There's zero lag at all. So just as good as, you know, my expensive smartphone for playing games. Oh, I wasn't paying attention. Oh my god. I did a Christmas monster. Activate power. What does that do? Oh yeah. Oh cool. Okay, yeah, but anyways, handling this game no problem at all. So really, really cool. Sorry, I wasn't looking through the screen. But yeah, awesome. So let's play something else. Alright guys, here's Traffic Rider. So but yeah, I must say, for, you know, if you're just looking for a budget smartphone that can handle your regular stuff, that, you, that has a real nice screen, real nice camera, that, oh my god, what did I do? I wasn't looking. That you can, you know, that you can game on, or, you know, or whatever, you know. A lot of people don't have the thousand dollars to spend on, like, a Samsung Galaxy or whatever, whatever the heck it costs, you know. But at 250 bucks, this is the price of, like, I could break this thing and just buy a new one. Like, if I broke it, I wouldn't even pay to get it fixed. I would just buy a new one. Like, it's awesome. Boom, dead. All right, cool. But yeah, graphics are great, and yeah, it looks great for gaming. Okay, guys, one thing I just noticed is this, sorry, there's all this glare. This phone actually has a screen protector already installed on it, so it comes factory with a screen protector on it. You know, not the most expensive thing in the world, but it's really cool. I mean, it's not just this thing, like, you know, this thing that you pull off. Um, you know, it's 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 not like that. It's it's an actual screen protector on there. So really cool. Props to already installing a screen protector on there. That's something that I think all companies should do. Every phone should come with a screen protector because it probably cost them what one cent to make it. So really cool. So I'm actually really impressed with that. So super awesome. Okay, guys. So let me show you that camera mode that I was talking about before. That I couldn't figure out how to do it. So this is really really cool. Okay. So um, I already kind of I already tested it off camera. But so this little button up here, you can only do this on this mode in selfie mode. You can't get to that, so hey, let's go back. You gotta be in regular mode. Okay, so I can take a picture, and I can be focused on whatever I want. So say I'm gonna focus on these bottles, so you can like, I can read them good, and they're kinda like the main thing in the focus. I take the picture, okay, now watch this. I can go into here, and now when I go to look at the picture, come on, go to the picture. I click this button, and say, say I wanna focus on the phone instead. So it focuses on the phone, so you know, so those get a little more blurry. And I can focus on the knife. You know, so it puts, Whatever you got, say it, this whole picture is kind of in focus, but um, let me take another one to kind of give you another example. So let's put, 
this like way off in the front of the picture and I'll take a picture at a different angle. Okay, so say I'm gonna have the box in focus when I take the picture. Okay, so now I took this picture and you can see the box in focus, but you can't read those really at all. This is way out of focus. So say I hit this, now I click on the bottles. Look, you can read them perfectly. Same thing, I click on the knife. Whatever you wanna click on, you know, it's really cool. So after you take the photo, you could still do this. Now this is a feature that I wish I had on my Samsung. So this is really, really cool and the coolest camera feature I have seen. So yeah, so I, I'm gonna use this for the next two days. Uh, I actually found a 3D printed um, case. So I'm printing that right now. I'm gonna charge it up. I'm gonna use it the next two days and yeah, then I'm just gonna check back in with you guys, tell you my overall, you know, impressions. I never put the, told you the overall specs, so I'll put the specs on the screen right now. And that's the overall specs for the whole phone. So I'm gonna play with this, I'm gonna use this as my daily driver for my next two days. I'm gonna, not even gonna have my SIM card in my Samsung, I'm just, you know, char have that charge and sitting on my shelf. But this is gonna be the phone I use the next two days, so I can give you my overall review how I feel of it you know after using it a couple days if it drops my calls anything like that so yeah so I guess let's just uh, use it and I'll see you guys in two days with my overall my overall review okay sorry about the terrible lighting but as you can see I'm 3d printing a case for the phone so super cool fun out of thing of first stock off actually there was like multiple ones I just picked a random one so hopefully it fits and uh, it should take an hour or two Alright guys, so I've had this for two days now and I've been using it like crazy and it's really stood up to everything. In the two days I've been using this, you know what, I'm, I don't even miss my Samsung Galaxy. You know, I'm going to go back to using that because I'm going to give this to my brother, but I, I don't miss it. I got used to using this phone. It performed great. I never dropped a call. It's got a really nice display, nice build quality, cool fingerprint sensor, amazing camera, giant battery. Like it, it two days... You know, it, it lasted me like a day and a half, and then I charged it when I got to 10%. But I was using it like crazy. I was on Pandora. I was using Waze when I was driving. I was constantly responding to your guys' YouTube comments. My phone was basically on all the time. I played a bunch of games with it. You know, it, it's, it's just crazy. I'm totally blown away by this. So thank you so much, GearBest, for sending me this. For $250, I can't imagine any phone being better than this. Um, say you just broke your phone or something, and you're, you got a long way till you can get a new phone with your with your contract you know this would be a great option you know it's only 250 bucks or if you're just sick of making the payments you know on phone you will just pick up one of these and the greatest thing you know is for 250 bucks if you broke it it's not the end of the world you know a lot of times like say you have an iphone or a samsung you break it it costs 200 with the insurance to replace it so even though you pay insurance every month it still costs you 200 where this that's basically the price of just if you break this you know just whatever you got a brand new one uh, it's got a headphone jack you know I don't know. I really like this thing, and I was blown away by it. So, thank you, Gearbest, for sending it. I'll have a link in the description where you can get it cheapest place possible. Gearbest always hooks it up with the cheapest price, so it'll be a little bit under 250, whatever the cheapest price. I'll have it in there. So make sure to check it out if if you you know if you like the phone and you wanna you wanna buy one. But yeah, my brother's gonna have this one, so he's pretty lucky. And uh, yeah, and I'm lucky enough to get all you guys watching and get cool stuff sent to me. So thank you to everybody, and I appreciate all the support. And until next time, I'll see you later.